Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that um, I've been hearing a lot about. This water wheel house right here. Um, people have been having problems having their fish getting stuck between the wheel and the top of the house. They'll actually get stuck in there. Um, what my husband has told me he could do. Um, I've had my wheel off actually. I just turned it on for this video so y'all can see what it does. Just gives them extra bubbles and circulates the tank more. Makes it cleaner. But they do get stuck. Let me see if I can hold the camera on point. Right at the top up here. Right between the top of the wheel and the house. There is plenty of room. Just enough for a fish to go through. You can't really see it. But it's just enough for a goldfish to go through a big fish. Um, that's a better angle. Just enough for, for them to get stuck through. So if you don't um, get a valve. My husband says you could take a valve and put it on the end of it. And what it does, it makes the wheel slow down. Go really, really slow. So they can back on out. Um, I did have it on when I bought a fish yesterday. And when I cut it on, he got stuck in there. And I looked it up. And so we found some things out about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing off now so my fish don't get hurt. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful house. And it's a shame that it just has to sit here when it could be circulating in. It's actually, you can't really tell, um, but it's kind of cloudy. And this is brand new fresh water that I just put in the tank two days ago. Um, all of this is fresh water and it looks really cloudy and that's because I don't have this water wheel going. It keeps it extra clean but um, you can get a valve. I've also heard that some people have gotten a screen to put across the top of their um, water wheel. If you want to take a piece of screen and just apply it in front of the wheel um, maybe with a staple gun or I'm not sure exactly how it would be attached. You might want to Google it or something. But there are ways where you can run your water wheel and not um, have the problem with the fish getting caught in the in the wheel itself. Um, my suggestions was if you're having um, bigger fish getting stuck in there or your fish are dying and you don't know what's going on and you got a water wheel in there, that's probably what it is. They can be getting stuck in there. Um, I've seen it happen so many times with this house. I, I probably went through three or four fish before I finally realized what happened. I actually saw the front end of the goldfish sticking out of one of these things right here. One just like that. It's actually a goldfish feeder. I just got him to um, save his life. He was a quarter and I didn't want him to be fed to the shark so <laughs> that's why I got him. But um, I had one just like that and he got stuck in the wheel yesterday and I saw the front end of his head out in the tail end back and I looked it up and Many people had the problems but didn't have solutions. The reason why you see this uh, tank in the background is there's a mirror behind here. This is sitting on in my dresser, actually. So, the, it might look like double vision there, but I promise you are not drinking. <laughs> I'm sitting in a mirror, and it also gives uh, the fish more things to look at. Um, they could look at their self sitting in front of the mirror. Um, they seem to be happier here. Um... Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the goldfish and the rocks. Um, I've heard that they are really compulsive. Compulsive, they could be OCD. I've had some that are OCD. Um, if you put rocks, like place them right there where they're at. If you watch it a few minutes, they will actually move the rocks. And they will take them and off of the rock. Within a few minutes, this whole entire rock will be clean. See, there they go. That whole entire rock will be clean. And they keep everything centered. If I take this thermometer off, um, it actually, it can float. Where's it at? I can't see it here. Okay. That was the filter. If I take this thermometer off, it can actually float. And if I let it float, they'll like move it back. It's just like they have to have things their own way. And they work well together in school. So if you have a goldfish that's... Um, eating rocks and moving rocks around and stuff like that they have to have things level and they will not stop until they do it all night long you can hear ping 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 with the rocks and you get up and you see the, the rocks will be like totally level totally level everything will be level um of course they can't move that treasure chest 
I did that so the little one can get it inside there. One side's pushed down further than the other. But, um, yeah, that's what they do. 